Hello everyone, today our topic is how to send data from Google Sheets to MySQL database. So here my objective is that whenever I add a new data in my Google Sheet as a new row, then I want to send the data automatically to MySQL server and I want to add this data in my MySQL database. So for that, I have to create a connection between my Google Sheet and MySQL. For creating this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I'm going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Google Sheets. In Action application, I'm going to use MySQL. So how I am going to create this integration for that, let me take it to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can send data from our Google Sheets to MySQL so that we can add this data in our MySQL database. So here our objective is that whenever I add a new row with the data in my Google Sheet, that automatically I want to send this data to MySQL and add that data in my MySQL database. So for this, we need to build a connection between Google Sheet and MySQL in such a way that whenever I add a data in my Google Sheet, then automatically this data will be sent to MySQL and that data will be added automatically in the database. So for this, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I'm going to click here on access now button under Pabli Connect and this will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now we want to create new workflow. For that, I'm going to click here on create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to send data from Google Sheets to MySQL database. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to select home here and I will click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we need to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application will be Google Sheets. So I'm going to select Google Sheet here and now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new or updated spreadsheet row will be my trigger event. And now I have to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So for that, I'm going to use this webhook URL, which is going to work as a bridge between Google Sheet and Pabli Connect. And to connect these two accounts, I need to follow all this instruction. So first I have to copy this webhook URL and I will go to my Google Sheet. And in my Google Sheet, I will go to Extensions. And in Extension, I will first go to Add-ons. And I will open this Get Add-ons. And this will take us to the Google Workspace Marketplace. And in this, I'm going to search for Pabli Connect Webhook. So I'm going to open this. And here we can see we have this extension. So we need to install this extension. And I have already installed this. So I'm going to close this. Now we'll go back to Extensions. And I will go to Pabli Connect Webhooks. And in this, I'm going to open this initial setup. And here we have these two options. First one is of Webhook URL and second one is of Trigger Column. So in the Webhook URL, I'm going to paste the Webhook URL that I have copied from Pabli Connect. So I'm going to paste it here. And for the Trigger Column, the Trigger Column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the Webhook URL. So here in my Google Sheet, I have this column E which is the last data entry column in my Google Sheet. So this is going to be my trigger column. So I'm going to type column E here. And now I have to click on send test and my test data is sent successfully. Now we'll click on submit and my setup is configured successfully. Now we'll close this and I will go back to extensions. I will go to Pabli Connect Webhook and in this, I'm going to enable this send on event option. And what this is going to do is that whenever I will add a new row in my Google Sheet, then automatically it will detect that row and it will send the data of that row automatically to Pabli Connect. Now here I have these columns, contact ID, first name, last name, email, and the mobile number. And I have added this row with the data. 
So my first name is Demo, last name is user, email is demouser at the rate pavlitudes.com and I have this random phone number. Now I want to send this data to my SQL. So first I have sent this data to Pavli Connect. So let's go back to Pavli Connect. And here we can see we have received this response. So my trigger column is column E and my spreadsheet name is MySQL data. And here we have this data. So this is the random mobile number. So the first name is demo, last name is user, email is demo user at the rate pavlitudes.com and we have this contact ID. So I got all these data from my Google Sheet to Pavli Connect. Now I'm going to use this data and I'm going to send this data to MySQL database and I'm going to add this data automatically to MySQL. So for that I have to set up my actions tab. So I'm going to open this tab and here I have to select my action application. So my action application will be MySQL. So I'm going to select this and I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and insert row will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and now I will connect MySQL with Pavli Connect. So I'll click here on connect and I have to click on add new connection and in this I have all these details. So to connect my MySQL account with Pavli Connect, I have to fill all these details here. So I'm going to fill all these details. So I have filled all my details here and to connect your MySQL account, you also have to fill the details of your server here. Now I'm going to click on save and I have successfully connected my MySQL account. Now I have to select my table name here. So for that, I'll go back to MySQL and in this, I'm going to use this table which is named as new contacts. So for this, let's go back to public connect. And for selecting the table, you have to open this tab and you will find all the tables that are connected with your MySQL account. So I'm using this new contacts table. So I'm going to select this. And in this table, I have all these columns, ID, first name, last name, mobile number, and the email. So I have to fill all these details to add in my MySQL database. And in this, I'm going to use the details that I have received from my Google Sheet. So I'm going to add all those data that I have in my Google Sheet in this particular columns. So for that, I'm going to map those details and I'm going to use mapping. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I'm going to click here. I'm going to open this response of Google Sheets. And in this, I have to first give my ID. So this is my contact ID. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to map the first name. So I'm going to click here. I will open this Google Sheet response. And in this, I have this first name, which is demo. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I will map my last name and the mobile number and also the email address. So this is my email address. So I'm going to map this. So I have added all the details that I have received from Google Sheet and I'm going to add these details in my MySQL database. So I'm going to click here on save and send test to button. And here we have received this response. So this is a positive response and the status says success. So this means that I have added these details automatically in my MySQL database. Now to check this, let's go back to MySQL. And here we can see I have added this new row in my database. So this is my ID and the first name is demo, last name is user and I have this random mobile number and the email address is demouser at the rate pavlitudes.com. So I have added these details automatically in my MySQL database. Now to check this in real time, let's, let's go back to Google Sheet. And here I'm going to add a new row with the data. So my contact ID will be one. My first name will be new, last name will be user and my email will be new user at the rate pavlitudes.com and I will give a random phone number. So this will be my data. So I have added this new row with the data in my Google Sheet. Now, if I have sent this data automatically in my MySQL database or added this data in my MySQL database or not, let's go back to MySQL and I'm going to refresh this. And here we can see I have added this new row automatically in my MySQL database table. So this is my ID. My first name is new, last name is user, and this is the random mobile number. And we have this email address, which is new user at the rate pavlitudes.com. So these are the same details that I have just added as a new row in my Google Sheet and I have sent this data automatically to MySQL database and I have added those data automatically in my MySQL. So here, whenever I'm adding a new data in my Google Sheet, then I'm sending that data automatically to MySQL and I'm adding that data in my MySQL database. Now let's go back to Public Connect. And here we have created this connection between Google Sheet and MySQL 
in such a way that whenever I'm getting a new data in my Google Sheet, capturing those details of the data and I'm sending that data automatically to MySQL database and I'm adding that data in my MySQL database. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Google Sheets and my trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then I have set up my action step and here my action application was MySQL and my action event was insert row. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these application, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.